Frederick Sala was born on the 22nd of June, 1865, in Berlin. His father was from a Huguenot family, and his mother was from an industrialist family of the Heckermann. Sada studied art history in Leipzig until the 1880s. He then travelled for archaeology research, thanks to his aunt Elsa Wilczyk Heckermann, to Anatolia, Persia and to Central Asia, specialising in the Islamic arts. Together with Ernst Histofil, he excavated the Samara in 1907 and in 1908. Sada headed to the Islamic art department of the Royal Museums in Berlin, investing much of his personal wealth into these museums. Having married Marie Human, daughter of the discoverer of the Pagromon altar, Karl Human, Sada had a neo orientalist villa built in New Babelberg. The couple had four children, but now time to the Middle East. So during World War One, after an initial spell in the Russian front, Reserve Officer Friedrich Sada was supporting the German Ottoman war effort with his knowledge of the Middle East. Upon his arrival in Baghdad in April 1915, he negotiated between the German and Ottoman Jihad propagandists as Ismail Enver Pasha's personal friend. He then served as a commander of the lines of communication and the council to the pro-German Persian counter-government in Kamashara, which is now Bakhtanara in Iran. In early 1916, the Central Powers had to retreat from Kashmada Shah against the Allied forces pushing up Euphrates and Tagoras River, and then Sadardin served in Marshal Kolmar von der Goltz's staff in Baghdad. After the Marshal's death in April 1916, Sadar was in Constantinople, then at home, and from September 1916 until the second retreat in March 1917, Sadar then returned as a military attaché to the second German mission in Kashmada Shah. He spent several months reconceptualizing the Istanbul War Museum before a brief time as a staff officer in Apollo. Sala also visited archaeological sites in Persia and the Ottoman Empire. During this time and during the war, he made acquisitions in the Baghdad and in the Constantinople black and antiquity markets for himself and for museums. So, Frederick Sara's wife Maria had maintained a close friendship with Enver Pasha ever since his time as an Ottoman military attaché in Berlin from, 1919, from 1909 to 1911. When Enver had to flee Istanbul following the Ottoman armistice and potential war crimes for the Armenian genocide, but it's okay, he found shelter in Salah's villa in um, New Babelberg. And then he went to Azerbaijan and got shot, but those are other stories. Well, what about Sarah? Well, Sarah, from what I have seen, actually worked in the Islamic Art Museum from 1921 all the way to the Nazis taking power in 1933. Probably consultants to the Middle East to try and wage a jihad to Electric Bigaloo in the British Empire. Not too sure. But um, yeah, that is the story of the very interesting character, Frederick Sala. Um, not really as big as um, even Oscar von Niederbayer, the German Lawrence of Arabia, is not well known in the West, but he is the art collector of the East, the meddling mastermind between the Iranian granite and me, and of course, the military expert of the Middle East. But anyway guys, hope you enjoyed, hope you learned something, welcome to the Orient. Um, next week is communist though. Um, what we're going to do next week is communist though. So, Middle East, I have to take the back burner. But if you'd like to go back to the Middle East, two likes, and we'll do that after Nazis and just go around the German colonies one last time and all the European colonies. Gonna try and finish up this month though. So, after Nazis and communists, very famous Germans like um, Emil of Holotovovic, Red Baron, Kaiser Wilhelm II. Um, Probably political martyrs for the Nazis, like um, Ernst Wiesel and um, that guy Stonberg. Can't remember his name, but he was pretty much a martyr in the occupied Hura region. So that'd be interesting to see. And yeah, that'd pretty much be Germany. A V seven tank, probably the captured tank program for Germany. And um, air would be the triplane. Land would probably be not Verdun probably remaster old video but 
maybe Verdun, maybe Verdun, and C would be the, hmm, SMS Mdom, maybe? Yeah, we'll probably do a couple of stories with them, like, um, Emden and probably like a pilot getting down and making it back. Just like two or three interesting stories. Probably redo two episodes. Um, and that's pretty much it. So in all that should be eight, about 20 more videos. Shit. It might not sound like a lot, but if we do a video every day, that's pretty much like three weeks of non-stop videos. So, but anyway, guys, hope you learned something. And Mutse Mutse Okay Let's hear in the Wittel I bet Ich Wittel in mein Trollfrate <laughs> Mutse Mutse Okay Let's hear in the Wittel Ich Wittel in mein Trollfrate <laughs> This is sorry, this is so cringing. But this was a scary episode in Scooby Doo. Top 10 scariest episodes in Scooby Doo. Number one, The Mummy. The end. Learn something, dudes. Very raunchy comedy. Yeah. Welfare. Welfare state. Germany. GG.